With a childhood interest in mathematics, Dr. Kopalil Radhakrishnan joined the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center in 1971, straight after completing his engineering. My initial involvement was in designing a motor, which was the heart of the gyroscope. Afterwards, I did my post-graduation in management. When I came to ISRO headquarters, I was part of the experimental missions of SLV-3, Aryabhatta, Bhaskara and Apple. Dr. Radhakrishnan then held important posts in various scientific organizations, where his contribution was always significant. I was in the Department of Ocean Development. I was part of the National Natural Resource Management System, the National Remote Sensing Agency, and dealt with the remote sensing data, making it part of the value chain of the people. For example, today, a fisherman, when he goes to the sea, he looks at a board in which he can see where he could look for fish, rather than going around and searching. It is provided to him free. It is a very satisfying experience. Dr. Radhakrishnan's next big milestone came when he was appointed director of the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, where he spearheaded one of India's most prestigious space missions, Chandrayaan. For the first time, we were getting out of the gravity of the Earth. We needed to capture the orbit of Moon very precisely. I was responsible to get a new version of the PSLV called PSLV XL capable of launching the spacecraft. We also built capability for deep space tracking. It provided a platform for major scientific observations. Finally, Dr. Radhakrishnan was appointed chairman of ISRO, where he would face his most challenging mission, sending an Indian spacecraft to Mars. The distance from Earth is anywhere between 55 million kilometers to 400 million kilometers. The distance gets translated into the time taken for a signal to reach the spacecraft. So we need to provide autonomy for the spacecraft so that it could take its own decisions even without waiting for the signal coming from the ground. We needed to predict what would happen to the spacecraft from the influences of all other planets and sun. As the spacecraft comes near Mars, we needed to reduce its velocity and there we had to use the propulsion system of the spacecraft. And this had to be restarted after 300 days of its operation. This required a redesign of the entire fluid management system, which we did. We used a PSLV and in a novel approach we could take it to the orbit. There was another U.S. mission to Mars called MAVEN. They used a rocket that had 10 times more power. What is quoted for MAVEN is nearly 11 years. We took four years, two months. If you look at the cost of it, we are almost one-tenth of it. We have a strength of something like 16,000 people of different uh, viewpoints. So he was able to put all of them together with one aim. After a remarkable 45-year career, Dr. Kopalil Radhakrishnan retired on December 31st, 2014, but has left a timeless legacy. I have been chairman of ISRO for the last five years. Right from 1975, ISRO has done 119 space missions. And of this, 37 space missions have been done during the last five years. Our Facebook has nearly eight hundred thousand likes and the younger generation discuss science and mathematics in the Facebook. This is something which this mission has brought out. Invaluable for the future India. Ladies and gentlemen, EY Entrepreneur of the Year Lifetime Achievement winner, Dr. Kopalil Radhakrishnan.